Joint School District staff members. Here is a little lesson on working with your Gmail inbox. We'll cover labels and filters, general settings, and starring certain messages. First, I'm going to take you to your settings. This is a good place to go explore. So right up here in the gear box, uh, or the box with the gear in it, if I click this little triangle, it pops down, and I'm going to go over to settings. From here, I have some tabs across the top, and for this purpose, we're going to stay right in general. Uh, please take a moment later on during the work time to look at the general settings. You can do things like uh, decide how many messages are on your page or how many conversations, what the text looks like to you. Um, you can explore some starring, and our mentors will be around to help you. Also, you can upload a picture for your profile and adjust your uh, signature. So all these things are in the settings. But more importantly, I'm going to get out of there and go back to my inbox. Um, we need to organize our uh, inbox. So a lot of people are probably just running their inbox like uh, messages just coming in. For me, I want to know if the message is sent to the entire Min building or all staff or uh, if it's for me from the IT department and I'd like all that to show up over here mirroring some of the functionality that we had in first class so I'm gonna set one up I am receiving uh, email from the, uh, the high school and I would like to take one and make a, a label for it which is basically just a folder a label behaves like a folder and what I'm going to do is click on the more right here and I'm gonna create a new label and this is just like making a folder I'm gonna call it N NHS news and hit create and you'll see that it is added to my other labels over here and uh, let's see now I have to get set up a filter and a filter is going to basically automatically put stuff into that folder or label. So I know this one right here, to open this up, it was sent to NH staff right there. So I'm going to go over here and say everything from NH staff I want to throw in this label, NHS News. So I'm going to use this disclosure triangle here and use the option that says filter messages like this. When I click on this, um, it says right here, it has that list in it, the high school uh, email address. So that's perfect. I'm going to create a filter with this search. And in here, I don't want to skip the inbox. I don't want to mark it as red. I don't want to star it, but I do want to apply a label. And it's the label that I made already. NHS news. Now if I hadn't made a label I can always make one on the fly right here. So that's kind of helpful. But for now I did make a label so I'm going to use NHS news. I don't want to forward it. I don't want to delete it. I don't want to... Uh, oh maybe I want to make sure it never goes to spam. Uh, down here I want to categorize it as personal. I want it to come to my inbox. I don't want it to be marked as a forum post or an update from some um, web service I belong to or a promotion from a company I work with. I want it to be personal. So I chose personal. And down here it says apply, also apply to 23 matching conversations. And I do want to do that. What that's doing is I have 23 other messages that have uh, this label in it right here or this uh, email address. So I want to apply it in the past. Um, when I click filter, it will take all the past messages and any new ones and shuffle them right into NHS News. So there they all are. I also want to color code it so I can use a color like, let's say, this one right here. So now if I go to my inbox, you'll see that I have NHS News labels applied to all these. And if I go here, they'll all be right in here also. So that's applying labels and filters. Labels are like folders. Filters are little programs that go and get 
mail and automatically stuff it in those labels. Uh, next, starring. Uh, over here I have some starred messages right here and I'm using a few different stars. Your tech mentor can come around and show you how to do those. But basically I only star a few messages and uh, when I'm done with them, when I've these are actionable things that I need to work on. So a lot of times I start the day looking at my starred messages if I haven't completed the task yet. So I'll go to star and let's say I work with this one. Okay, I can answer it and reply. I can take the star off of it. And then I'll only have a few stars left. So I use stars to uh, bookmark what I need to do during the day or un unfinished business, so to speak. Lastly, I want to talk about your trash. Your trash. You can drag stuff into your trash. Usually I have uh, drafts there. And your trash will be deleted in 30 days automatically behind your back. Same with spam. Your spam folder is going to collect all this stuff and, and get rid of it in 30 days. Lastly, I think I already did a lastly, but I'll do one more. I'll show you a little trick. Um, I do not delete mail. And Gmail because we have so much storage. I just selected all these and what I typically do is archive them. And basically they do go away. I have two unread messages here. And I have some here. Usually at the end of the day I want to archive all of my messages. And I'm using this archive button right up there. Why don't I throw them away? Well, one reason is that I have so many so much space there's no reason to get rid of them and if I ever need to go back and look at them I can go to all mail and everything that I've archived is there all 1116 messages so if I do need to go back and search for something by typing in a name or, or a topic that we talked about I can always go get it but if it's in the trash and gone I can't so I typically do not delete any mail. I simply select something and archive it. I will not do it to that one. Okay. So there you go. Uh, have fun figuring out your labels and filters, getting some of that school mail into labels or mail from departments or houses or all district messages or school messages or filtering uh, and labeling messages from important people. So um, Go ahead, tech mentors will be around to help you.